Well, Kalev, this neighborhood of Womema is one of the neighborhoods that was declared as a restricted zone on Friday because of the high rate of coronavirus infections. And what you can see here behind me is a large barrier. That's the barrier at the entrance to the neighborhood. And you just saw that it got knocked down because kids were trying to knock down uh, that barrier. And that's actually what happened yesterday. Yesterday, a bunch of protesters gathered in front of these barriers and tried to break through the barrier. Barriers. And of course, the policemen and the law enforcement that were there had to stop that, and that led to a scuffle uh, between the protesters and the police. And we are expecting something similar to happen here today. At the moment, what we see over here, it's mostly young children, kids that are 10, 12, 14 years old. But of course, when the older people arrive, young adults who are between 16 to 18 or even 20, that's when you can expect there to be more problems uh, with police here uh, tonight. And of course, this is because of a feeling among residents of this neighborhood and others in the country of selective enforcement when it comes to coronavirus regulations, the government clamping down specifically on ultra-Orthodox neighborhoods. Uh, they feel like they are being singled out. That is their subjective feeling. Of course, there are numbers that show that these neighborhoods, specifically ultra-Orthodox neighborhoods, have high rates of coronavirus infections. But still, this is something that has gone up to the very top level, as you mentioned, the meeting between Netanyahu and ultra-Orthodox party leaders today. So we're going to have to wait and see how that plays out. But at the moment, the law enforcement and the police are ready over here in case uh, anyone tries to break through uh, this restricted zone, as happened yesterday. And Alec, what do those residents there want exactly? Because we do have this situation of these disproportionately high rates within certain certain ultra-Orthodox communities remember among them. So what approach do they want if they don't want this kind of lockdown? So first of all, it's important to say that not everybody in this neighborhood uh, is appreciative of this kind of behavior of trying to break through the barriers. Some people say it's okay to have the restricted zone if there's a high infection rate. Some people are for it. Some people are against it. There are some who are against it who don't want to go about and try to clash with the police to break through the barriers. So there is a variety of opinions regarding how to proceed uh, with this uh, type of restriction. I will say, though, that when I was in other neighborhoods that were restricted, for instance, in Ashdod, in southern Israel, we saw there, as well as here, that people are saying that the restricted zone isn't properly enforced anyway, specifically with pedestrians. We see that cars are limited going in and out, but we see pedestrians, I mean, cars going in and out, it doesn't happen that often. There's police officers there checking them, but pedestrians, they walk in and out freely, and usually there are back entrances through which you can enter, so the restricted zone isn't even being enforced properly. So people are saying if you're not enforcing it properly, then why have it at all? That's a criticism that we've heard in several neighborhoods throughout the country against this policy of restricted zones in specifically infected neighborhoods. All right. Uh, hopefully there won't be too much trouble there, but we'll have to be coming back to that. Alec Pollard in Romema.